Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and they're talking again about National Registry for Sex Offenders in Barbados. And it's an uphill battle because whereas it's talked about nothing ever happens, sexual slavery and sex trafficking laws would have to be removed from the books of Barbados. Yes, they are on the books. Sexual slavery and sex trafficking laws are on the books. In Barbados, you can have sex with a child. A grown man can have sex with a child in Barbados, and Barbados children are mostly poor, miseducated, poorly socialized. They have not gone anywhere. All they know is the neighborhood that they were raised in, they were born into. There's probably a single parent in the home, and that's it. That's it. And then when these kids reach 16 years old it's okay for them to go with a man and the man to do whatever he wants with them a 16 year old in Barbados has nothing absolutely nothing to offer a grown man okay they cannot vote they're too young for that they cannot work they're too young for that you know there's certain things that they cannot do at 16 but at 16 a grown man can have sex with that child in Barbados so sexual slavery and sex trafficking laws are on the books and if these things were to be looked at you will have to call almost almost all fathers school teachers politicians cops uncles cousins neighbors everyone would have to step up step up and probably show where they have not done it because it is systemic it is rampant so in that stepping up not many will step out because most of them would be on the list you know if you were to call them most of them would end up on the list they cannot step out of that um that environment they're born into it so now we have pedophiles who are gravitating to Barbados. It's called sex tourism because they know they can have sex with young boys and sex with the young girls. It is all legal, all legal. So let's say that you raised your child to the best of your ability and there's a father and mother in the, in the home. Then you have to what? Hope and pray every day that every ounce of energy you put into that child does not go to waste because they have met the wrong person your your child is associating with a wrong group of people and that group of people are the majority so chances are your child may be associating with someone who can pull all of what you put into them out within no time at all no time at all so it's an uphill battle and the government of Barbados, well, the government would is made up of the people, the people, the people of Barbados are going to have to insist that these slavery, sex slavery and sex trafficking laws are removed from the books. In Barbados, it has to be removed from the law books, from the constitution of Barbados and kids have got to be protected. You have got to protect your kids. Give them the ease to grow up, to reach maturity. Give them that ease because outside of that, you're going to be looking at kids and saying, oh, she's fast and oh, she's this and she's promiscuous or he's promiscuous and he's forced ripe. No, no, they're made that way because of the rampant, the rampant sex abuse. That's how they're made. It doesn't need to be that way. It never needs to get to that point. You have got to, if you care, if you care, you have got to make laws to protect children in Barbados. And you have to show them and everyone else where it is illegal to touch them before they have reached an age of maturity or while they're still in school or whatever it has to be done kids in Barbados remain very very young because of the miseducation and the fact that they don't leave that small area that they were born they don't leave there they don't travel so they remain young for a very young time it needs to be looked at they need to be they need to be protected this is Sherry Veronica